God's choice. But when God has handpicked you and marked you, eh, you, you can spend years doing oh, whatever you do, you know, dodging him, passing here, passing there, to damn praying tomorrow. I'm not. When God has marked you, there is eventually that day where you can no longer escape. Somebody shout hallelujah. That day comes where you can no longer give an excuse. That day comes where you can no longer act funny. That day comes where you can no longer act... Um, <laughs> philosophical that day comes where you can no longer it comes it, it might take weeks it might take years it might take months but when god has marked you eventually one day he puts where you must be and then your eyes are open to the seriousness of his purpose on your life one day one man prophesied on my life and told me something and 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 He spoke a lot and I was a bit young and not understood yet. And he told me, but one day you'll have moments where you just sit alone and start crying because you'll finally realize what God was up about concerning your life. She so said to explain to me, you know, there are those tears of I have a problem, what? No. But there's that overwhelmingness of, of, of when you finally come to the realization of actually how serious God was with you. And until one day, sometimes I'm driving in my car, sometimes I'm sleeping alone, and then these tears come, and I remember what that man said. And he said, you see, some of you, the way God has chosen you, the way God has marked you, the way he, he has you know, set you up. You don't even have a clue. You think, ah, you know, I go to school, I go, you know, I love God. Yeah, but a time will come where you'll just sit there and just cry, not because you sit, not because you have a problem, but because you understand the seriousness of his call on your life. Somebody shout hallelujah. The seriousness of his call on your life. So, sometimes I say, oh, now, some people say, oh, yeah, Fenero, oh, you know, 10, 15,000 people, oh, you know, this is for sitting, you know, I, on Thursday, I have more than 10,000 people sitting. But what does that mean? It's, it's not the 10,000 people sitting. It's the responsibility that I have in my time and what that means to the world, what that means to heaven, and why me? You see, so it's something every day I receive with so much grace and humility because it's something you never get used to. You can never get used to it because every time it's working, you can see that it's entirely God performing, fulfilling something way bigger than you. And then you get in stadiums and then the lame are walking like some of you saw in the anniversaries. The people are walking out of wheelchairs, teeth are growing and Tumors are disappearing. And, and these are things I read in a book. You understand? These are things we read in a book. And, and we used to think, do those happen? How? Thank you. How do those things even happen? And then they start happening with you. And God is trying to tell you, I am the same today, yesterday, and forever. And for the world to come, I have prepared way bigger than Paul would say. I have prepared way bigger than Peter would say. I have prepared way bigger than Jeremiah and Hezekiah would say. I have prepared way bigger than Elijah would say. I have prepared way bigger than Elisha would say. The world to come has greater power than many of us have read even in any book. So when I tell people that some of you think you've seen but you have not seen yet, I don't blame you if you don't believe it because you have lived in carnal ordinances for so long. Do this and do that and do this and do that. And that's all you know to do. And there's a man out there in the world who thinks that if I die and wear that rosary that day, God is not going to touch or move in his life. You see what I'm saying? Yeah, they exist. People like that are there. And I don't blame them because that's where we are. Many of us, we have those ordinances. We just don't know that they are carnal. We just don't know that they are carnal. You see what I'm saying? But God is looking for...